Freedom Service Dogs. This is Stephanie Chase, and this is my video um, outline of, of, yes, for getting a service dog. So I'll tell you the information, and then um, both of my dogs, well, um, they are at the property with my dad where they're working on the house. So you won't get to meet them this time, but I have two kitties at home um, that I will introduce you guys to. So my name is Stephanie Chase. My address is 1655 Needham Court, Colorado Springs, Colorado 127. Wait, hold on. Colorado Springs, Colorado. 80916 um, and um, I have a wonderful family um, that I live with my parents right now um, and I'm in this smaller house that we're living in until we uh, move to the property. Uh, the house is supposed to be completed in October and we can't wait to move there. It's going to be our forever home, um, which will mean never having to move again and never having to let what well, well, my parents adopted my animals when I had to move before. So it's nice that I won't ever have to say goodbye to another animal. Um, so my, let's see, yes. Um, I've got lots of good friends. I love going to church. Um, that is where um, I do a lot of, um, I have groups with, I meet with, with the ladies and prayer and I'm very involved at church. Um, and I have no personal attendance. Thankfully, right now, I'm still pretty independent. Um, occasionally, um, we'll have my mom help me with things. Um, but yes, thankfully, I'm still pretty independent. But that is every year and month, you know, it seems to be fading. But I have Huntington's disease. Um, Yes, so the pets that I've had before, I used to be terrified of doggies um, for many years, and finally um, we were living in San Diego, and my parents found somebody giving away a doggie. Um, their, their daughter had just gotten the dog, and then I guess their daughter got a cat and wanted to get rid of the doggie. So she is my, her name was Taffy, and she was, she, um, golden uh, retriever and lab but we we think she had a lot of other stuff in her but we could never figure it out um but yes she was the love of my life i had no sister so taffy was my girl and she was just oh my gosh yes i just adored her um but when i moved out to california i had to leave her with my parents and that was heartbreaking but then I came back here and got to have when I moved back to Colorado got to have her again um, but then yes had left again and had to leave her with a really good home so again if I hadn't had to move yes so again if I had stayed in the same place I still would have had to have been able to have her but she was my one true love um, and then I also got a cat um, when I was living in, in my apartment in New Hampshire and um, I named it Perrito which is puppy in Spanish because I was like if this cat acts like a dog you know um, and she did to this day she still acts like a dog and I'm going to introduce you to that cat my mom renamed Clarabelle so she's down in the basement right now but she's kind of a chunk so I can't really pick her up and show you guys um okay mm -hmm. okay and uh yes since I'm not I'm on disability I don't go to work or school so again church is a big thing um and I um just love getting together with um, people there. I love um, line dancing and you know I'm a Colorado native so I yes hiking and uh, going for lots of walks. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes so I got diagnosed with Huntington's when I was 18. I decided to get tested um, and didn't become symptomatic until the last few years and I was 
living in Rochester, New York, where my kids live, and um, took a, a really a hard time in my life um, and got fired from my job for the second time in a year. And so um, that's when we realized that Huntington's was starting to take more of an effect. So I uh, had, had to, well not had, I love Colorado and I've always wanted to come back here, but it was hard because um, my babies are still um, in Rochester, but they come out for the summers. So, but it's so amazing being with my family. Um, my parents are just awesome. So I live with them, yes. Okay. And um, yes, so yeah, okay. <laughs> And my accomplishments, um, let's see. I completed nursing school uh, several years ago. Um, my ex-husband suggested um, that I, um, you know, go to nursing school. And so I got to be a nurse. I love um, working with kids. And so that was a huge accomplishment. Um, I also keep up a YouTube page about the Huntington's disease. So I consider that a huge accomplishment. Um, there just a lot of people are touched by um, that. Um, yes, yeah, let's see. Um, yes, okay. I should have written things down, but that's okay. Um, then, uh, yes, my limitations. Um, it's, yes, I am very clumsy, uh, so, um, yes, so I, um, limitations, yes, uh, I'm still able to drive, um, sorry, the Huntington's is sometimes it's, my brain kind of stops, so, um, I'm still able to drive, but I, um, it's hard for me to go up and down stairs, uh, but thankfully in the new house we were building, it's a ranch, and my parents are building it in spe specifics for uh, handicap accessibility, so that is awesome. Um, uh, so I, uh, let's see, limitations, yes. Yeah. Um, driving at night sometimes is hard for me. Eventually, I'm sure I won't be able to drive anymore, but I'm just grateful I still can. Um, it is, yes, hard for me sometimes to spell words properly, so that uh, is a huge limitation, like just how my brain keeps shutting down to those things and sometimes it's I have slow, very slow reaction time so um, and always dropping things on the floor so that's why I love the idea of my service I just being able to you know help get things out of the fridge because I hurt myself a lot just getting things out of the fridge um, Yes, my activity level, I am still very active. Um, I love, I just ran my second marathon. So just, um, and I can't wait to have a doggy to take on walks. And especially when we get to the property because there's just beautiful places to walk out in the country. And so, um, uh, yes, so still very uh, physically active um, and love just going for walks and uh, bike rides and all of that stuff. Uh, daily routine, I wake up and usually make breakfast for myself, which thankfully I'm still able to do. Um, and then um, usually work on my YouTube channel, um, then sometimes put in a walk um, that day. Um, and then uh, make dinner uh, if somebody's here. Sometimes mom makes dinner for us um, there at the property a lot. So sometimes I yeah have to make my own dinner. Um, and then usually go to bed about 10.30. Um, I like to read. I like to watch, you know, movies and all of that. Oh, yes. So I'm still um, able. So, okay. Um, yes, I'm able to walk around my house. Um, I think I'm going to stop um, this video and take over with my uh, my phone to video um, walking around the house and stuff. That'll be easier. So I'll do it in a, a few parts. Okay.
Thanks.